Shadows clung to Samantha Ray as she crept through the darkened penthouse, her footsteps silent on the plush carpet. The only sound was the steady drum of rain against the floor-to-ceiling windows, the night-shrouded cityscape stretching out fifty stories below. Her target was close. She could feel it in her bones, a sixth sense honed by a decade as the Shadow Syndicate's most lethal assassin. The weight of her silenced Glock was familiar in her hand, an extension of her arm. Her body hummed with adrenaline, every nerve ending awake and singing. She'd trained her whole life for nights like this. Nights of blood and shadows, where morality blurred and the only law was kill or be killed. Where she morphed from Samantha Ray, the orphaned little girl with a bleak future, into Nightshade, the phantom in the dark. The hand of death itself. And yet, tonight felt different. The dossier had been light on details, the target's face obscured in the single grainy photograph. But looking into those piercing eyes, green as the Scottish Highlands and achingly familiar, some deep buried part of Samantha's heart quickened. A whisper of recognition dancing just out of reach. Samantha froze, pulse thundering, as a floorboard creaked behind the closed bedroom door. Her grip tightened on the Glock. It was now or never. Three steps, two heartbeats, one screaming eternity. The door exploded open. A lithe figure rolled into the room, a matching silenced pistol sweeping the shadows. Samantha dodged left, but not before catching the glint of fiery hair, the flash of emerald eyes in a face as familiar as her own. Lil? Lil? The name left Samantha's lips in a breathless rush, the pistol wavering. It couldn't be. Her sister was dead, killed fifteen years ago and a hit on their father went wrong. The image was seared into Samantha's memory, smoke and blood and screaming her mother's vacant stare as the life drained from her eyes. The cold bite of her father's sig, sour pressing into her palm, his final ragged words, survive. No matter what. But now, a ghost made flesh stood before her, aged a decade and a half but undeniably Lily Catherine Ray. The girl whose disappearance had driven Samantha to the syndicate, to sell her soul for the skills to track down those responsible. Samantha? Lily's voice shook, her own gun lowering a fraction. How... um... You're the syndicate? A wry laugh scraped Samantha's throat. And you're my target. Quite the family reunion, isn't it? Slowly, deliberately, Samantha engaged the Glock safety and held it out to the side. She knew she should take the shot, complete the mission. The syndicate didn't tolerate loose ends or crises of conscience. But looking into the eyes of the sister she'd long thought dead, she knew she couldn't. Not now. Not ever. Lily mirrored the motion, emerald gaze never leaving Samantha's face. A lifetime of unspoken communication passed between them. The decision made in a single shared heartbeat. The file, Samantha said urgently. Who wants you dead? Alessandro Conti. Arms dealer with a side business in human trafficking. I've been working to dismantle his operation from the inside. Lily's expression hardened. But someone betrayed me. Samantha's mind raced. Conti was a syndicate client, his illegal exploits lining their coffers for years. If Lily had proof of his crimes, it would bring the entire organization crashing down. No wonder the syndicate wanted her eliminated. We need to get you someplace safe, Samantha muttered. Some place off the grid. So, the rest of her words was swallowed by the crack of shattering glass. Pain seared across Samantha's bicep a split second before the report of a high-powered rifle reached her ears. A sniper? Get down. Samantha grabbed Lily and rolled, shielding her sister's body with her own as a volley of shots peppered the room. Chunks of drywall and glass rained down around them, slicing exposed skin. Lily returned fire around Samantha's shoulder, eyes fierce and focused. Two mercenaries crashed through the ruined window, assault rifles at the ready. A third swung in from the roof, landing in a predatory crouch. And then the world exploded in deafening light and blood, and the burn of shattered glass as the windows blew inward, taking the mercenaries with them. Ears ringing, 
Samantha looked up in time to see a masked figure, clad in black tactical gear, lower a smoking grenade launcher, and offer a hand. Heard you could use an exit, drawled a familiar voice, honey smooth and laced with gravel. Piercing blue eyes glinted above the mask. Raven, dot. The syndicate's most dangerous agent and Samantha's ex-lover, his chiseled features as arresting as the last time they'd crossed paths in Budapest. The time before he'd shattered her heart and disappeared like smoke. Samantha didn't know if she wanted to kiss him or kill him. But right now, with syndicate agents surely flooding the building, he was their best chance at escape. She took his hand and pulled Lily to her feet, meeting her sister's wary gaze. We can trust him. I think. Raven's eyes crinkled above the mask, a hint of a smirk in his voice. You wound me, Shade. I thought what we had was special. Samantha rolled her eyes, even as her heart clenched painfully. She handed Lily her backup Walther from her thigh holster before taking a pistol from Raven's proffered hand. A pact made in blood and bullets. This doesn't change anything she murmured as they moved swiftly to the door, adrenaline still singing in her veins. I want answers. And I'll give them to you. After we make it out of here alive. Raven's gloved hand brushed her hip, sending electricity crackling through her. Damn him. Samantha took a shuddering breath. Then she kicked open the doorway to the stairwell, Lily at her heels and Raven on their six. Into the breach once more, the night wrapping around them like a shroud. As they descended into the bowels of the building, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that this was only the beginning. That the twisted threads of her past were unraveling, old ghosts rising from the depths to drag her under. That the most dangerous battle would be the one fought in the shadows of her own heart. The stairwell echoed with the staccato beat of their footsteps as they descended, the air thick with the tang of gun smoke and the coppery scent of blood. Samantha's arm throbbed where the sniper's bullet had grazed her, but she pushed the pain down, locking it away in the steel vault of her mind. Pain was an old friend, a constant companion in her line of work. She'd learned long ago to embrace it, to use it as fuel for the fire that burned in her core. Beside her, Lily moved with the fluid grace of a dancer, her fiery hair a beacon in the gloom. Fifteen years apart, and yet they fell into step like no time had passed at all a choreographed dance of death and survival, etched into their bones by the cruel twists of fate. And behind them, a ghost in black tactical gear, his presence as familiar as Samantha's own heartbeat. Raven, D2. The name tasted like ashes on her tongue, bitter and sharp. Once, it had been a balm, a promise of solace in a world of shadows. Now, it was a dagger between her ribs, a reminder of the chasm that yawned between them. Questions swarmed Samantha's mind, buzzing like hornets. Why was Raven here? How much did he know about Lily's reappearance, about the syndicate's true motives? But she tamped them down, forcing herself to focus on the present. On the stairwell that spiraled down into darkness, on the echoes of booted feet on the floors below, on the mission that had brought them together once more, a twisted mirror of the past. At the landing of the 25th floor, Raven held up a fist, signaling a halt. He pressed a finger to his ear, listening intently to his calm. Conti's men are sweeping the building, he murmured, voice like gravel. Three teams, heavily armed. They'll reach this stairwell in minutes. Samantha's grip tightened on her pistol, the polymer warm and familiar against her palm. We need to keep moving. Get to ground level and find transport. Raven shook his head, blue eyes electric in the gloom. No good. They've got the lobby sealed off. Our best chance is the service elevator, down to the parking garage. Lily shifted, emerald gaze darting between them. How do we know this isn't a trap? That you're not leading us straight into Conti's hands? A muscle ticked in Raven's jaw, something dark and haunted flashing in his eyes. If I wanted you dead... I wouldn't have blown my cover to save your asses upstairs. And why should we trust you? Samantha stepped forward, meeting his gaze head on. The air between them crackled with tension with the weight of unspoken history. Last time I did, you left me bleeding out in a Budapest alley. 
Raven flinched, a hairline fracture in his iron-clad composure. I had my reasons. I'm sure you did. She shouldered past him, Lily falling into step beside her. Just like you have your reasons for being here now. But if you think for a second that I won't put a bullet in you if you cross us, I'd expect nothing less. His words were a caress, a challenge. But right now, we need to move. Unless you'd prefer to hash out our sordid history in a hail of bullets. Samantha's retort died on her lips as the sharp report of gunfire echoed up the stairwell. Shouting voices, booted feet pounding on concrete. Conti's men closing in like hounds on a fox. Go, Raven snapped, unslinging his rifle. I'll hold them off, buy you some time. Their eyes met, a thousand unspoken words passing between them in a single, searing glance. The ghost of his touch burned against Samantha's skin, a reminder of forbidden nights tangled in silken sheets, of stolen moments that cut like shards of glass. Then she was turning, grabbing Lily's hand and sprinting down the hallway, the service elevator looming at the far end. Every step was an eternity, the air sawing in her lungs, the acrid taste of fear on her tongue. Behind them, the stutter of automatic weapons fire, the wet, meaty thud of bullets impacting flesh. Raven's pained grunt, a final spray of covering fire. Samantha's heart seized in her chest, but she didn't slow. Couldn't slow. His sacrifice would mean nothing if they didn't escape. The elevator door swished open, a yawning chasm of darkness. Samantha shoved Lily inside, slamming her fist against the button for the parking garage. As the doors began to close, she risked a final glance over her shoulder. Raven lay sprawled on the blood-slicked tile, one hand pressed to the spreading crimson stain on his abdomen. His rifle lay beside him, the barrel still smoking. Dark lashes fluttered against pale cheeks as he met her gaze a ghost of a smile quirking his lips. Survive, he mouthed, the same word her father had breathed with his dying breath. A benediction. A last request. Then the door sealed with a soft hiss, and he was gone, swallowed by the hungry shadows. In the suffocating confines of the elevator, Samantha finally allowed the tears to fall, hot and stinging against her cheeks. Lily's arms wrapped around her, offering silent comfort, a tether in the darkness. But even as grief clawed at her throat, Samantha felt the embers of rage kindling in her core. The syndicate had taken her parents, her childhood, her chance at a normal life. They'd forced her to become a weapon forged in blood and shadow, to walk the knife's edge between survival and damnation. And now, they sought to take the only family she had left, to rip away the fragile hope that had blossomed in her heart the moment Lily had stepped from the shadows. No more. The syndicate wanted a war? She'd give them one. She'd burn their empire to ash and salt the earth where it stood. For her parents. For Lily. For the broken girl she'd once been, and the hardened woman she'd become. But first, she had to get Lily to safety. Had to untangle the web of secrets and lies that bound them, that had set this deadly game in motion had to find the answers that lurked in the shadows of her past, the truth that could shatter everything she thought she knew. The elevator creaked to a halt, the doors whispering open to reveal the cavernous depths of the parking garage. Samantha scrubbed a hand over her face, erasing the last traces of her tears. Then she stepped out into the waiting dark, Lily, a steadfast presence at her side. Survive. Raven's last word echoed in her mind, a flickering flame in the darkness. She'd honor his final wish. And in doing so, she'd finally lay the ghosts of her past to rest. The parking garage was a labyrinth of shadows and echoes, the air thick with the stench of gasoline and stale exhaust. Samantha moved through the gloom like a wraith, Lily a silent presence at her back, their footsteps swallowed by the concrete beneath their feet. Every nerve ending was alive, every sense heightened to a razor's edge. The weight of the pistol in her hand, the cool kiss of the night air against her skin, the distant wail of sirens filtering down from above, each sensation was magnified, a reminder of the fragility of life, the razor-thin line between breath and oblivion. Samantha's mind raced, sorting through the jagged pieces of the puzzle, 
trying to fit them into a coherent whole. Lily's sudden reappearance, Raven's cryptic warnings, the syndicate's ruthless determination to see them both dead, it all swirled together, a maelstrom of questions and half-truths that threatened to drag her under. But one thing was clear. The answers lay in the shadows of her past, in the secrets her parents had taken to their graves. Secrets that somehow connected Lily to Alessandro Conti, to the web of corruption and death that stretched back decades. We need to get to the safe house, Samantha murmured, her voice echoing in the stillness. Regroup, come up with a plan. Lily nodded, emerald eyes glinting in the darkness. I've got a place, on the outskirts of the city. Off the grid, untraceable. A ghost of a smile flickered across Samantha's lips. Just like old times, huh? You and me against the world. A pang of nostalgia, bittersweet and aching, pierced her heart. Memories of whispered secrets under the covers, of pinky promises and shared dreams. Before the world had shattered around them, before innocence had been ripped away like a bandage from an open wound, Lily's hand found hers, warm and steady, an anchor in the storm. We'll make them pay, Sam. For Mom and Dad? For everything they've taken from us. Samantha squeezed her sister's fingers, drawing strength from the contact. Damn right we will. They wound their way through the maze of cars, senses stretched taut for any sign of pursuit. In the distance, the sharp report of gunfire, muffled shouts and screams. Conti's men, closing in like wolves scenting blood. At the far end of the garage, a battered gray sedan sat shrouded in shadow, a getaway vehicle left by one of Raven's contacts. Samantha slipped behind the wheel, Lily riding shotgun, the engine grumbling to life beneath her fingers. As they tore out into the night, tires screeching against the pavement, Samantha's thoughts drifted to Raven, to the sacrifice he had made for them. The ache in her chest deepened, a yawning chasm of grief and regret. She had loved him once, with a ferocity that had terrified her, had allowed herself to imagine a future beyond the blood and shadows, a chance at something resembling normalcy. But in the end, the syndicate's hooks had been too deep, their hold on him too strong. He had chosen his path, and she had chosen hers, the chasm between them widening with each passing day. Until Budapest. Until that rain-slicked alley, the taste of betrayal bitter on her tongue, the searing pain of a bullet that had torn through more than just flesh and bone. She had survived, had rebuilt herself from the ashes, had locked away the part of her heart that whispered his name in the dark. But seeing him again, fighting beside him once more, it had reawakened something in her, a flicker of hope long thought extinguished. And now he was gone, another casualty in the endless war that had claimed so many. Another ghost to haunt her dreams, to whisper accusations in the silence of her mind. Samantha's grip tightened on the steering wheel, knuckles blanching white. She couldn't afford to dwell on the past, to let emotion cloud her judgment. Not when Lily's life hung in the balance, when the truth they sought could topple empires and reshape the very fabric of their world. She had to be strong, had to be the weapon she had been forged to be. Even if it meant burying her heart, locking away the pain and the longing and the desperate, aching hope. Beside her, Lily stared out the window, her reflection ghostly in the glass. I never stopped looking for you, you know. After. After everything went to hell. Her voice was soft, heavy with the weight of old grief. I used to imagine you were out there somewhere, fighting your way back to me. It was the only thing that kept me going some days, the thought of seeing you again. Tears burned in Samantha's eyes, blurring the road ahead. I never stopped looking either. But the trail went cold, and I... I had to survive. Had to become someone else, something else. The syndicate. It wasn't a question. Samantha nodded, the words thick and bitter on her tongue. They found me after I'd been on the streets for a year. Offered me a way out, a chance to make a difference to find the people responsible for what happened to our family. A humorless laugh scraped her throat. I was so young, so naive. I didn't realize the price I'd pay, the pieces of myself I'd have to carve away. Not until it was too late. 
Lily's hand found hers once more, squeezing gently. You did what you had to do, Sam. We both did. And now, now we have a chance to make it right. To find the truth. To bring those bastards to their knees. Determination hardened Samantha's spine, chased away the lingering specters of grief and doubt. Lily was right. They had a chance, a fleeting window of opportunity to seize the justice they so desperately craved. And they would take it, would grasp it with both hands and never let go. For their parents, for the lives they had been denied, for the future that had been stolen from them. The city fell away behind them, the towering spires of glass and steel giving way to the sprawling outskirts, to winding roads and darkened fields. Stars glimmered in the velvet sky above, cold and distant, a thousand watching eyes. In the distance, a ramshackle farmhouse loomed, weathered clapboards and sagging shutters, a forgotten relic of a simpler time. The safe house, their refuge from the storm. As Samantha killed the engine and stepped out into the cool night air, Lily by her side, a flicker of hope kindled in her chest. A fragile, guttering flame, but one that refused to be extinguished. They were together again, two halves of a fractured whole. And together, they would face the shadows, would claw their way through the darkness to the truth that waited beyond. No matter the cost, no matter the sacrifices that lay ahead. They would survive, would endure. For in the end, it was all they knew how to do. The safe house was a tomb, a mausoleum of forgotten dreams and shattered hopes. Dust motes danced in the thin shafts of moonlight that pierced the boarded up windows, the air heavy with the weight of secrets and lies. Samantha moved through the shadows like a ghost, Lily's presence a steady warmth at her back. They had spent the last week here, licking their wounds and plotting their next move, piecing together the fragments of the puzzle that had brought them to this moment. And now the final piece had fallen into place, the last thread unraveling in their hands. Alessandro Conti, the man who had orchestrated their parents' deaths, who had set the syndicate on their trail like hounds scenting blood. He was here, in the city, ensconced in his fortress of steel and glass untouchable, untraceable. A kingpin of the underworld, his fingers in every pie, his reach extending to the highest echelons of power. But he had underestimated the resolve of two sisters, the depths of their rage and their hunger for vengeance. He had underestimated the bond that had been forged in the crucible of loss and pain, the love that had endured through the long years of separation and silence. And now, he would pay the price for his arrogance, for the lives he had destroyed and the futures he had stolen. Samantha checked her weapons, the motions as familiar as breathing. The weight of her glock, the cold steel of her knives, the coiled power of her muscles. They were extensions of herself, tools honed to deadly perfection. Beside her, Lily did the same, emerald eyes glinting with a fierce determination. They had always been two sides of the same coin, light and shadow, fire and ice. And together, they were unstoppable, a force of nature that would sweep away all who stood in their path. They stepped out into the night, the cool air kissing their skin like a lover's caress. The city loomed before them, a glittering jewel box of secrets and sin, a labyrinth of streets and alleys that twisted like a serpent's coils. But they knew their destination, had memorized every detail of Conti's fortress. The blind spots in the security cameras, the weak points in the perimeter defenses, the hidden entrance that would grant them access to the heart of the beast. They moved through the shadows like wraiths, silent and deadly, their footsteps swallowed by the throbbing pulse of the city. The world fell away, narrowing to the pounding of their hearts, the rush of adrenaline in their veins, the single-minded focus of the hunt. And then they were there, standing before the towering spire of glass and steel that housed their prey. A modern-day castle, a testament to the power and influence of the man who dwelt within. But even the mightiest fortress had its weaknesses, its cracks and fissures that could be exploited by those with the skill and the will to do so. Samantha and Lily exchanged a glance, a wordless communication that spoke volumes. A lifetime of shared pain and loss, 
of love and sacrifice, distilled into a single moment of perfect clarity. And then they were moving, a blur of shadow and steel, a deadly dance that had been choreographed in the blood and sweat of countless training sessions and missions. They breached the perimeter like ghosts, slipping past the guards and the cameras, the motion sensors, and the laser grids. They were shadows given form, death incarnate, and nothing could stand in their way. Up the stairs they went, higher and higher, the burn in their lungs and the ache in their muscles a distant thing, a minor inconvenience to be ignored. The only thing that mattered was the target that lay ahead, the man who held the answers they so desperately craved. And then they were there, standing before the door to Conti's inner sanctum, the final barrier that separated them from their revenge. Samantha's hand closed around the handle, the cold metal biting into her skin. She turned to Lily, a question in her eyes, a final chance to turn back, to choose a different path. But Lily's gaze was steady, unwavering, a mirror of her own resolve. They had come too far, sacrificed too much to falter now. Together, they pushed open the door, stepped into the room beyond. And there he was, Alessandro Conti, the man who had orchestrated their downfall, who had set in motion the events that had led them to this moment. He sat behind a massive desk of polished mahogany, a king in his castle, a spider at the center of his web. Cold eyes, pale and pitiless, regarded them with a mix of amusement and disdain. Well, well, he drawled, his voice a silken purr. The prodigal daughter's return. I must say, I'm impressed. I didn't think you had it in you. Samantha's grip tightened on her gun, the metal warm and familiar against her palm. You underestimated us, Conti. A mistake you won't live to regret. A razor-thin smile sliced across his lips. Oh, I think you'll find that I'm full of surprises, my dear. Just like your father was. The words hit her like a physical blow, a punch to the gut that left her reeling. What do you know about our father? Lily demanded, her voice tight with barely controlled rage. Conti leaned back in his chair, steepling his fingers before him. More than you could possibly imagine. He was a thorn in my side for years, always sticking his nose where it didn't belong. Just like you two. He shook his head, a mockery of sorrow. I warned him, you know. Told him to back off, to leave well enough alone. But he just couldn't let it go. The pieces of the puzzle began to fall into place, a picture taking shape in Samantha's mind. The late-night phone calls, the whispered conversations behind closed doors, the growing tension that had permeated their home in the weeks before the explosion. Their father had been investigating Conti, had stumbled upon something he shouldn't have. And he had paid the price for his curiosity, had been silenced before he could expose the truth. Tears burned in Samantha's eyes, blurring her vision. The man they had thought had died a tragic accident, a cruel twist of fate. And all along he had been murdered, struck down by the very evil he had sought to bring to light. Why? Well? Lily's voice was a broken whisper, a plea torn from the depths of her shattered heart. Why our family? What did we ever do to you? Conti shrugged, a casual gesture that belied the malice in his eyes. Nothing personal, my dear. Your father was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. As for your mother, well, she was collateral damage. A loose end that needed to be tied up. White-hot rage surged through Samantha's veins, a searing tide that burned away the last vestiges of her control. He spoke of their parents' deaths as if they were nothing, mere inconveniences to be brushed aside. But they had been everything, the center of her universe, the anchors that had kept her tethered to the world. And he had ripped them away, had shattered her life into a million jagged pieces. Her finger tightened on the trigger, the gun an extension of her will, her hatred given form. You're a monster. Oh, oh I'm much more than that. Conti's smile widened, a grotesque parody of mirth. I'm the future. A new world order, rising from the ashes of the old. And you, my dears, are relics of a bygone age. His hand dipped beneath the desk, and suddenly the air was filled with a deafening roar of gunfire, a storm of bullets that ripped through the room like a scythe through ripe wheat. Samantha dove to the side, 
dragging Lily with her, the shots carving a trail of destruction in their wake. Splinters flew from the walls, the furniture disintegrating under the onslaught. But, they had not come this far to fall now, had not endured so much pain and loss to be cut down at the moment of their triumph. They returned fire, their shots precise and lethal, honed by years of training and experience. Conti's guards fell like wheat before the scythe, their bodies hitting the floor with dull, meaty thuds. And then they were moving, a dance macabre, weaving through the chaos and the carnage, closing in on their prey with each step. Conti's eyes widened, the first flicker of fear breaking through his mask of arrogance. He scrabbled for his gun, his movements clumsy and desperate, but it was too little, too late. Lily reached him first, her knife flashing in the gloom, a silver arc of death. It buried itself in his throat, a geyser of crimson spurting from the wound. He gurgled, his hands clawing at the blade, his eyes bulging in their sockets. But there was no mercy in Lily's gaze, no hint of pity or remorse. She leaned in close, her lips brushing his ear. For our parents, she whispered, her voice a sibilant hiss. For every life you've destroyed, every future you've stolen. This is for them. With a savage twist of her wrist, she wrenched the knife free, a spray of arterial blood painting the walls in a grisly mural. Conti slumped back in his chair, his life's blood pooling on the floor, the light fading from his eyes. And as Samantha watched, a strange sense of peace settled over her, a weight lifting from her shoulders. It was over. The man who had haunted their lives, who had cast a shadow over every waking moment, was dead. And with him died the secrets and the lies, the unanswered questions that had plagued them for so long. Tears streamed down her cheeks, mingling with the sweat and the grime, the salt of her grief and her relief. Lily's arms wrapped around her, holding her close, their hearts beating in unison. They had done it. They had avenged their parents had brought their killer to justice. And in doing so, they had reclaimed a piece of themselves, had forged a bond that could never be broken. The road ahead would not be easy, Samantha knew. The scars they bore, both physical and emotional, would never truly fade. But they had each other. And that was enough. More than enough. Together, they would face the future, would rebuild from the ashes of their past and they would do it on their own terms, free from the shadows that had haunted them for so long. For they were survivors, warriors tempered in the flames of adversity. And nothing, not even death itself, could stand in their way. As they stepped out into the night, the city stretching before them like a glittering promise, Samantha felt a smile tug at her lips. A true smile, unfettered by pain or sorrow. For the first time in her life, she was free. And with Lily by her side, she knew she could face whatever lay ahead. One step at a time, one day at a time. Until the shadows were nothing more than a distant memory, a nightmare fading in the light of a new dawn.